Hey, Gen Chem Nation. Um, if you're watching this video, then you have signed up for general chemistry here at the University of Vermont, and I am your instructor, uh, Eric Ruggles. Um, so here, just a quick uh, little video to help you get started um, with our course, um, basically by just exploring Blackboard, uh, uh, showing you little ins and outs for um, access to all the information um, as we go throughout um, our semester. Um, I'll have more of an introduction as far as my, you know, you know, personal hobbies and things of that um, within the discussion board, which we'll talk about um, in a little bit as we go. That's kind of the next stage or the next step. Um, but first, let's just look at getting started. And I'm going to switch screens now so we can look at Blackboard. If we look to the, the top left, you know, we see the Blackboard University of Vermont. But then if we go down a little bit, we see this you know, left navigation pane where we see announcements, getting started, syllabus, assignments, mastering chemistry, course materials, discussion board, lab materials, etc. So, so that is really um, how this Blackboard course is organized. It's always going to be organized into those segments. Don't tend to use the ones below the, the hash line there. Um, Currently, we're in announcements. That's where you always kind of end up once you once you log in um, to the class. Um, and so let's go to getting started. So here's our getting started page. This is to help us to you just start to explore Blackboard and, and everything that's that's kind of out there, um, you know, within. So this first, you know, kind of text that we see here is really surmising that left navigation pane is what, you know, things are actually, you know, therein. And we're really looking at, you know, really starting with the syllabus and, you know, going down through these different points, one, two, three, four, etc. So um, we can start with the syllabus. Um, the syllabus is basically broken down into sections. So click on the first link at the top left. We come to now that syllabus, you know, portion of the folder. So we're in one syllabus folder. Um, and, and there's a lot here, as you can see, you know, we have the full syllabus, but then we have all these multiple pieces. And so we can access the full syllabus and and look at the entire document, which is the very top PDF link. Um, and then what I've done is taken every section from the syllabus and you know kind of broken it out into its own document. So if you're just looking for you know lab information or grades, you can go to those specific sections um, within the syllabus. There will be another video going through the syllabus, so we're not going to do that right now, but this is where we can find that information is we can hit that syllabus link um, on the top left there and we can access in any one of these documents and we should just be able to click the blue PDF link and then there is our syllabus and we can we can go through it so that's the syllabus now let's in and again the syllabus has all the 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 components of the class. So, I mean, all the answers in terms of the mechanics of the class, the logistics of the class can be found here, but we will cover that um, in a later video. So let's go to um, assignments, which is number two. This link allows us to access the different modules that we're going to be going through throughout the semester. And, and so module and, and chapter are really the same thing here um, that we have different chapters within the textbook and so we're going to um, have them organized for us in terms of an actual assignment and so I know again this is a 31 example but we see the same thing in 32 um, instead of starting at module E though we'd be starting at module 13 so keep that in mind so exactly the same format and so here are all the the modules or chapters that we're going to be looking at and when we get into what's within the module we find that there are learning objectives 
which we see at the top. And then the assignment is actually kind of arrayed in such a way to have, you know, small videos um, to, well, sometimes they're a little bit long too, um, to help us understand lecture material. Um, and then we have homework problems associate, associated with that. This is what I kind of call the ebb and flow of lecture. Um, there will be uh, um, another video kind of going through this into more detail um, so we can do, so we know the specifics. Um, but I have videos in here that describe, you know, lecture material. We have homework. We have um, extra uh, videos for help um, me going through specific problems in the textbook. Um, we also have music videos so that we can maybe chill out um, as we're doing our homework or take a break and, and listen to some music while, um, you know, we chill and then come back to the actual assignment at hand. So for every chapter that we go through within the class, right, we find each one of those chapters here within the assignments. And as we go through, I will be definitely keeping people aware of the homework assignments. That's primarily what announcements uh, actually is. Um, I'll kind of come back to that at the, at the very end. Um, and so there's assignments, point number two. Point number three, going to Master in Chemistry. Master in Chemistry is, you know, really the online platform for the textbook. So, you know, you have an option of, of just, you know, using Master in Chemistry um, for the homework. Uh, there's an e-text with Master in Chemistry as well. If you like the real textbook, um, I personally look more tactile. I like the real textbook. Um, you know, it's it's really the same thing. So so the assignments that are given um, doesn't matter what platform we use. If we prefer the online platform with Master in Chemistry, um, that's what we should utilize. And if we prefer, you know, the textbook, well, we can do that um, too. Um, that's all basically accessed through the this you know link at the kind of in the middle here, the My Lab and Mastering Course, and it'll open up. Um, sometimes it's a little wonky, but for the most part, it works very well. And what we'll see here is, you know, if we look over to the left, we see there's a course home, but more importantly, we see assignments. And so here is, uh, you know, this is what's up there now. Some of it is things that um, are, are going to be changed and thrown out. Um, you know, really what I want to concentrate in and on is, you know, we can see that we have basically the whole textbook here. If we look at the very top, we have chapter E, end of chapter questions. We have self-assessment quizzes. These aren't points. This is all practice work. Um, but we have basically the whole textbook here is what I'm getting at. So... So Master in Chemistry is really just another way to, you know, look at the homework, you know, whether you want to use the textbook or whether you want to use the online platform. So that's Master in Chemistry. Um, we then get to uh, course materials, and here's where we actually find a lot of, of information uh, is within course materials. So with course materials, now we see there's a, a bunch of different folders that we have that are highlighted in blue. You know, we can start at the very top. You know, here's where I keep all my lecture notes. So these are notes organized by chapter as far as, you know, what I would utilize in a classroom or when I create these videos. You know, I have all of these uh, module lectures and each module lecture is, you know, a chapter. So we have access to those for students that want to, to utilize, you know, that kind of PDF version of notes. Um, during class, we're going to find that class is really more about question and answer than it is about lecture. Um, we'll come back to that, you know, idea uh, with the ebb and flow of class. Um, so we'll find, you know, every class 
you know, there's going to be, this is going to be a blank folder. Um, but I'll put here basically the, the documents um, that correspond to that class, the notes that we took in the class. Um, there will also be video links as well uh, since I um, will be recording over Teams. And also, we'll have that as an option for students to utilize in, in their help. The solutions manual, which carries basically all the answers to the odd questions from, from the chapter. So it's also organized by chapter within there. So you have access to, to the solutions manual. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's one of those things that is good to help, but don't rely on it too much, right? We got to make sure we can do these problems on our own. Uh, going down further, I have posted in these problem videos the next two, um, basically a very long array of, of just videos of, uh, you know, example problems. So just pulling a random chapter three question here. You know, here we have a bunch of questions. A lot of these are taken from, from the textbook. Well, really a different version of the textbook, but the textbook nonetheless. And we can, you know have a problem let's say with effective nuclear charge we see number 59 has you know deals with that type of question um and so we can click that link and up will pop here a little video a little distance but <laughs> did it quite a while ago so so this is an extra resource basically um and and believe me what i'll do in announcements is cue us into, you know, what helpful videos are, are you know, going to help with this homework assignment versus that homework assignment. Uh, so not only do we have that split up in terms of textbook problem videos by chapter, um, if you don't like my voice, right, you can use the closed caption version, right? So all the same videos are in the closed caption. It's just that there's text at the bottom. For practice, I push, uh, or I'm sorry, I post, uh, you know, blank practice exams and their keys from prior years. So, so there's extra practice there as we get maybe closer to exam time and are, are looking for extra problems to work on. And then SI problem sets. Uh, these are sets done by, you know, the supplemental instruction or student led instruction at UVM during the normal semester. Um, this is a past one that I think is really good. And so, again, it's just, it's just more extra problems, you know, extra problems to make sure that we have certain concepts and things like that. So those last three folders that we see are really looking at just, you know, extra, you know, work, <laughs> I suppose. But more more along the lines of like, okay, can I prove to myself that I know what, what's going on here? And so that extra practice is really um, is really important. And then some other uh, normal uh, documents. Um, uh, we see steps of success in Chem 31. Um, I have that similar document for Chem 32. So um, that's a good read through to, you know, see what's kind of expected of you. Um, and then just some different folders, or I'm sorry, different documents, periodic table, Vesper chart, some documents that we'll use as, as we go through the semester. So as you can see, there is a lot of folders here, a lot of information. Some folders are empty now, but they will be filling up as we go um, throughout the semester. Point five is the discussion board. And, you know, as far as questions that are, you know, outside of class time, you know, there's a number of ways to get a hold of me. We can do email. Um, now that UVM is really on the Teams network, you can you can send me a, a text message over Teams. Um, but I also then have discussion boards um, as well. And so so here is um, discussion boards for you know the, this summer that we're looking at um, in this particular example. So so I have you know just a number of questions you, you know threads that are already kind of put out. You know some are chapters which we see at the end. Um, but, you know, um, first off, like an introduction, you know, sometimes it's nice to start to hear, you know, who's around you and, and, and what your teacher uh, kind of looks like. Maybe, you know, maybe their hobbies, things of that neighbor, nature, uh, pre-summer school questions, lab questions, good news, things I'm doing great, bad news, things I'm not doing so great. Um, 
bad news is fine. Just you know, suggestions also are helpful um, as far as how I can improve. Um, and for instance, I already have a video here posted in summer introductions um, in terms of just giving you a little video of of me around around my yard, um, give you some just insight, you know, in the things that I do other than actual chemistry. So so that's what the discussion boards um, are all about. Um, the last link is number six, lab materials, and currently this is empty. Um, this is will we'll get filled up with material um, once our lab director, Christine Cardillo, starts to, to fill this in with lab experiments, um, you know, comments, things of that nature. So look for that folder to fill up um, shortly. Um, and that takes us back up to the top with announce, I'm sorry, with announcements here. And so like I said, this is gonna be empty now, but it's really gonna fill up. I, I, I always do announcements. I do announcements after every class. Um, I make sure that the students are very aware of what is being assigned to them, what is due, um, what is exam material, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, is always put into these announcements. So, um, you're going to be getting emails from me and, you know, it's easy enough to put those aside, but please, you know, as soon as you get those emails, you should be writing those assignments down in your calendar, giving yourself reminders, right? So that, so that we know what, what we need to, to, um, do, uh, and stay on, to, you know, to stay on pace. So that is our Blackboard course scenario. Again, for the 32 students out there. This is done in 31, right, in terms of this video example. But all of these pieces, announcements getting started, one through six, you know, even our ebb and flow and other things that I've discussed off a little bit of topic um, are all exactly the same for the 32 class. So um, do not worry there. That's all I have for, for right now. Um, again, uh, getting started, check out all the different pieces of, of the, that left navigation page with syllabus course materials um, and, and start to interact with the discussion board as far as maybe some introductions or questions, um, what have you. Um, I will be talking to you soon.